everyone, welcome back to more Dang Game 2. Goodbye to Sparrow. Well, last time we had our daily life section, or we finished off the island section for chapter 5, and hallelujah, celebrate our victorious! That was not a sentence, I said celebrate our victorious. I, I combined celebrate our victory with celebrate our vict with victorious. And point being, Nagito is dead! Yes! Oh, finally! After 26 episodes of pain and agony, dealing with this piece of shit, finally! Freaking finally! He's out of our lives, we never have to deal with him or his contradictory bullshit ever again! He's not gonna play any role in anything ever, he's done, he's gone! So now all we gotta do is solve his mystery, figure out who killed him, and then we can move on with our very- and then we can move on with our lives. A numb feeling spread from the center of my brain almost instantly. Nagito is dead. Even when I saw this before me, I wasn't able to comprehend that reality yet. Huh? <laughs> Ah! What? What's going on here? Is he really dead? He's not pretending to be dead, is he? I mean, it's Nagito, you know? That's right, it's Nagito. He, he, Akane, there's a spear implanted in his chest. It, there's a spear that has penetrated his stomach. He, he's not still alive. Please try again. He always messes with us. He always tries to confuse There's a spear sticking out of his chest, Hajime. Excuse me, I can't believe it. You don't have to believe it. It's Look, look at that! He, he did not survive. Okay. Let's just to give an, a brief overview here. He was stabbed in the stomach with a spear. Apparently, his thighs were cut open as well. He's been he's been stabbed in the hand with a knife. He he didn't survive this. No, he, he's very he's very dead. He's super dead right now. Nagito is dead. Deep down, I believe that when the killings finally ended, I'd never see this guy again. I never expected I'd be looking at Nagito's body like this. Nagito probably felt the same thing. I couldn't help seeing it in his dead, frightened face. But on this island, unbelievably abnormal occurrences happen all the time. Even Nagito couldn't escape that truth, but even something as small as that? A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Don't tell me... The body discovery announcement? Hey, the Nagito is really dead? I, I don't know how you could possibly thought of, have thought otherwise given the scene of the crime. It's not that he's just- it's not just that he's dead, it's if the body discovery announcement was made, does that mean Nagito was killed? So that's the problem with this, is that he, this, this, like we've been together as a group for the whole time, so I don't, there's, there has, okay, so there, there, there's two contradictory states of mind that I'm, I'm thinking right now. On the one hand, we've been together as a group for the whole time, throughout this whole bomb bullshit, so there's no way any of us could have possibly broken off from the group to go kill Nagito. However, the scene of the crime is so intricately set up, I find it impossible to believe that Nagito- Because, okay, he, like, I, I can believe that, um, I, I can believe that he could have gotten the ropes and the- Okay, so, like, the scene of the crime is his, his arms are tied up above him and his, his, his legs are tied down in front of him. There's a cut on his- there's two cuts on his thighs, one cut, uh, sorry, no, it's uh, his- two cuts on his thighs, his right hand has been impaled, and that all could be done by yourself. Because what you could do, you may be saying, well, but but he was tied up, he couldn't have done it when he was tied up, I would say that's where you're wrong. Because what he could have done is he could have tied his legs down first, that's obvious, you do that first. Then tie one of your hands down, and then wrap a rope around the other side of the hand, but then either chop off that part of the rope, or burn that rope, or do something. Do something to, or maybe, you, maybe you've maybe pre pre-prepared ahead of time a rope that is only uh, thick enough to go around your wrist, but not actually tie you to the ground. So leave one hand untied, and then that's the hand you use to, to cut yourself in the thighs, and, um... Oh, but I... I okay, so that, that theory, we, we hit a wall with that theory. Well, okay, so, I was gonna say, we hit a wall with the theory when we get to the part of, of how he could have possibly stabbed himself in the hand with which he used to stab himself. Uh, when... I don't know how they could have done that. Uh, but more importantly, even if he could have done all that, there's no way he could have possibly stabbed himself in the stomach with a spear. One-handed. Sorry, even with two hands, there's no way you could have done that. That's, no, there's no way that possibly happened. Um, but, yeah, so that's, it's like, it can't be a murder, but it also can't really be a suicide, so I don't really, I, I, I got nothing here. Killed? Plus it's one of us, I mean, that's what it means, right? Yeah, aha! Oh, 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 that's okay. Okay, you see that right there? I was right. I was absolutely right. Okay, so... Ah, that's interesting. Okay, so in case you haven't noticed it yet, his right arm, the rope wrapped around his right his right wrist, 
is burnt off at the end of it. So that's it. I called it. I absolutely freaking call it. That's it. Okay, so that's so that's so that's why I would have done that. But that doesn't really fix anything because I can't, I still can't explain like that. So now, okay, now I'm convinced that that theory is true because that is that is too explicit of a detail for that to be that that to be of known significance. Because the fire wouldn't have reached this far back. It was behind the curtain. There's no way that the fire would have burned it off, um, just by just by natural have it being naturally happened. Which means that he would have had to burn it off himself. Which means he looks like he he could have done this all. Um, oh, and actually, you know what? This cuts around. This cuts on his, his left arm as well, which is interesting. Okay, so that's one more rune to add to the pile. Um, but they also don't look as they don't. I think that's why I didn't notice them because they don't look as deep. They don't look as as intense as the other wounds in his body. Um, yeah, so. This th that that indicates to me that my theory is correct, but now I'm now I'm just stuck with trying to figure out if I assume it's correct. How could he have possibly stabbed himself in the stomach and in the hand? And I got nothing for either of those. That's I'm still still at a loss for how. It... Also, there's that's weird. There's I I didn't notice this initially, or maybe I, did, I just didn't think about it. There's the there's like there's a there's a cord or something above him that's also covered in blood. Um. And I don't know what that has to do with, like, uh... Because that doesn't tie- that doesn't naturally tie into any of the other wounds in the body. So, what is that? There is, but... Oh! Oh! That's a nice detail, game. That's a very sneaky detail, game. Okay. Okay, they- Oh! Ooh, I like where this is going. I like where this is going. Okay. So... You'll notice how at the top, I wish I could zoom in, but you'll notice how at the top of the screen, on the rope, or the cord, or whatever, there's a very particular part of it that is not covered in blood. Now that doesn't make any sense, because however blood got on it, it would not have missed that exact, that perfect little shape. Um, so, but what you'll also notice is that Nagito's left hand, his palm is not covered in blood. The rest of his hand is, but his palm isn't. Almost as if he were gripping something. And it, from the looks of things, that cord... I can't judge it accurately from this distance, but it looks like it might line up with the size of his hand. So, if you're looking for a way to impale yourself with a spear while you're tied to the ground, especially considering the fact that the wounds on his arm don't look as deep as the wounds on the rest of his body... What do you think the odds- like, I- I have to get a- I'll have to back out of this and actually look at the crime scene. But what do you think the odds are that he used a bit of a pulley system? Like, he tied the spear up, um, with the cord, threw it around the ceiling, and- and suspended it there, holding on to it with his left hand, and then, uh, would- would let it go, and the reason why he would need this is because, like, he would- the reason why the cut on his left arm would be not as severe is because he would need to still have the strength of his arm to be able to hold on to the rope. Until he, was, until he was ready to let it go, and then drop it, the poison system would pull the, 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 the rope over, drop the spear into his stomach, and impale him instantly, killing him. Again, I need to check the ceiling to see if there's actually a, a, a system up there that would allow that to happen. And I still don't have an explanation for the, for the knife in the hand. But, beyond that, I got no clue as to, um... I got no clue as, as to how that would happen, but that is, that is so explicit in the details here. That, that's got, it's got to be something like that. One of us killed him so brutally? No, I'm, I'm guessing... Because, okay, it's because, like... Again, the whole theory was... The whole problem was, hey, none of you could have done it because we were all together, but also none of you could have... Uh, but also it couldn't have been him because he was... Uh, there's no way he could have been a suicide. But now, now we've seen the details that allows us to be a suicide, which... Makes it kind of interesting, I don't know. Huh? The class trial is going to start soon, right? Then... Yep, we gotta do it! We gotta find out who Nagito's killer is! No matter who you guys sacrifice, you're determined to survive and leave this island, right? Then the time for action is now! So, allow me to give you the familiar Monokuma file! Hold it right there! What? Don't get in my way like that, I was about to whip out the Monokuma file in such a cool way! Shut up, I can't stand this anymore! How much longer are you gonna keep putting them through this? No more, I won't let you! I'm gonna show you pulverize your- pulverize your evil intentions! Say something! Oh, now I remember who you are! You're Monami! You just now noticed! Anyway, Monami, if you're gonna talk about my intentions, why don't you talk about yours first? Huh? What? What are your 
excuse me, intentions anyway, why are you keeping everyone cooped up on this island? I'm sure everyone here wants to know too, you know? What? No fair! You're shutting up too! Enough already! We already have enough to deal with concerning Nagito. Please don't say anything else that will confuse us. Hey. Anyway, let's begin. Mm -hmm. Huh? But... This is just... I mean, in the end, we still have to do it, right? As long as a killing happens, we can't do anything about it, right? We wouldn't choose but to do it, right? Besides, it's our fault that we couldn't even prevent it. Uh... I know, it's the only way we can survive, right? Nice! <laughs> Looks like you kids are way more well-behaved than Manomi. We're tired of this too, you know? So I'll definitely make sure to finish this for good this time. Oh, yeah, well, that sad day for you. We still got another chapter to go. Actually, Don't worry, the end is near! The end? The Don't make a face like a pig that's about to become bacon. You already noticed it, right? <laughs> the meaning behind the Monokuma timer. I guess there's only two days left, huh? When the time reaches zero two days from now, what will happen to us? Hmm? The killing school will be over! If this will finally be over, does that mean we can go home? Don't count your bears before they've hatched. There's still something you gotta do before that, right? So, once again... Alright, the Monokuma file! You guys need to find out who Nagito's killer is and survive the class trial. If this ends here, there won't be an afterword at all. Okay, do your best! <laughs> Hold on, I won't let you escape this time, wait right there! What do you guys think? If the school trip is nearly end, it's safe to think that we can go home, right? Kazuichi, I understand how you feel, but we need to focus on Nagito's case first. Even if we can go home, it'll be the end for us if we screw up here. Now, Tara, I mean, solve Nagito's case so we can all go back home. It's nice to think that everyone can go home, but that is impossible, right? I mean, someone in this room killed Nagito. Uh, it's... Just, uh, no, it, he killed himself with the giant spear. Ah, yep, look up there. Ah, look up there. There's a beam. There's a beam going across the, going across the ceiling that you could easily sling over. In fact, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh, that is such a small detail, but that is awesome. Okay, I can't really zoom in while I'm recording, but if you look to the top of the screen, to the left of that little piece of the curtain that's just suspended from the ceiling, there's this tiny little pink strip on the, on the top, on that bar right there, almost as if you slung the rope over that would be bloodied because of the fact that it was, you know, the, the spear would have been covered in blood when it came back around. Oh, that's such a- that's such a small detail, but that is awesome. There's a killer among us. The weight on the- the weight of the- the weight of those words began to sink into me. That was true of the previous case, but was it really true this time? No matter how much I tried, I couldn't believe it. Because the victim was Nagito? Because the death is so abnormally cruel? No, it wasn't just that. There was something more to it than that. And whatever it was, it was stuck inside me. So, okay, so now the obvious problem is... Um... He's- he's- he's made this to look like a murder, right? He's obviously tried to make this look like a murder. Um, because- because of the fact that I even had the thought that it, this couldn't be a suicide because of how, because of how the crime is set up, he's clearly trying to make it look like it has to be a murder and a suicide. The question is why, and my theory would be, like, the only thing that makes sense is, be, is that he would be trying to frame Chiaki because his whole thing was, gotta expose the traitor, lol. Um, but I don't know how, so th th I'm guessing there's gonna be something, we're gonna find a bunch of clues to the crime scene that's gonna tie this to Chiaki, and then we're gonna be like, ha, that's where you're wrong, kiddo. Um, but I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, Monokuma file. Monokuma File 5. The victim is Nagito Kameida. The, the body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma Plushy Factory. The estimated time does believe to be noon sharp. And if we check what time it is now, I think we'll be able to pretty easily see exactly what time this happened. Um, not only is there a sphere stabbed in the stomach, there are multiple stab wounds in each of his thighs. Furthermore, there was a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. Like, if we check the clock right now and it's noon, then we, we know it obviously wasn't one of us that killed him because it was we, were, we weren't in the room when this happened. Um, by the time we got here, he was already dead. What a tragic situation. I mean, unless unless he released the spear when we walked to the doors, but, I mean, that still doesn't matter, because we, we were on the other side of the room. We couldn't possibly kill him from the other side of the room. Just reading this is making me depressed. Is there something wrong with the Monokuma file? Again? What's wrong with it? Uh, was there... We, we don't know anything. What could have... Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, but there are multiple stab wounds in each of his thighs. Furthermore, there was a last person in his left arm and a knife prepared through his right hand. Yeah, obviously. Obviously, one would assume from that that he died from all that. Hmm, it's definitely weird. Well, I guess I'll find out if I look around. That's what the investigation is for. Don't worry about form conclusions on your own. That's what, that makes me more worried than I should be. We can discuss it later. Right now is our only chance to investigate, so we should investigate first. If we don't, there won't be anything for us to discuss. Well, I guess you're right. Then let's start with the area surrounding Nagito's body. I should start with the back of the warehouse. Since the current blocked most of the water, this area wasn't affected by the sprinklers that much. Thanks to that, I can probably investigate Nagito's body. I never thought I'd have to investigate Nagito's body, but he probably didn't expect to end up like this either. I, I beg to differ, my, my friend. I think he definitely anticipated this happening. Okay. Uh, so obviously the first thing I'm gonna check is I'm gonna check up for- Oh, can I really not check this? Oh, but that's- oh, but that's such a cool detail! 
Oh, come on, game. Lame. Okay, fine, I'll check the freaking... Actually, first I kinda wanna check this. What's the... What's... What is this doing over here? Monokuma is dead? It, no, he talked to us five minutes ago. This... It, this is just a plushy thing. With a... Abnormal patch of blood in the middle of it. That's over... Why... This isn't anywhere near the scene of the... This isn't anywhere near his body. Why would this be all the way over? Oh! The knife! Okay, alright, alright, that's a clever game. Okay, I see, I see what you're doing there, game. Okay, so, um, basically, I think what's going on, so, the reason why this is all the way over here is I think what happens is, because this, uh, this is the best I got as far as how he could have done this, he pins his hand up against the, up against the teddy bear, uh, and the knife, and then it's, it's, it's brutal to think about, and I, I don't really want to say this out loud, but he, would force his hand through the knife using this as using the plushie as a base to steady the knife and then force his hand through which would then obviously penetrate the hand it's awful to think about and it's it, it, the pain that would cause is unimaginable but it would explain why the plushie is all the way over here because he would have chucked it away afterwards um so yeah that's uh, i don't know why he would have done that but he, he did no, no response is no response he's dead jim just kidding, I'm not dead. As no one thought you were. I mean, Hajime did, but... Ugh. If you're mistaking a plushie for me, then there's something wrong with you. You're a giant teddy bear. Don't put up put oversized garbage there. It's so misleading. What are you calling oversized garbage? Could this be one, could this be one, one, of, uh, one of Monokuma's tricks? And why do you do it? Making a hole like it got stabbed and going to the trouble of dirtying the hole with blood? Did he try to uh, imitate Nagato's body or something? Well, if he, if he did, he failed miserably. But, okay. I had nothing to do with that. Huh? He's probably lying. Seriously, you're always you're always lying. You should just dial up the push over there. You seem more pissed than usual these days, Manami. But you better watch what you say. If I feel like it, I can wipe you out easily, you know. I won't give up to your threats. I'll fight you until the very end. I'll definitely take back the seat of world supremacy from Monokuma. Looks like those annoyances are gone. If it wasn't Monokuma's trick, then who did this? Could the killer have done this? If so, is this Nagito's blood? I have no idea how this connects to the incident. I, I have a pretty good idea of how it connects to the incident. I don't know why it's all the way over here, but I, I didn't think I can explain that. Um, the other thing I noticed is a bunch of... There's a, wait, there's a lighter here? Oh! Oh! Oh, oh I'm sorry, Nagito, but you failed again. You colossally failed at yet another thing in life. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, so... Remember... Uh, last episode, how there was a bunch of how we tried to get in, but it seemed like there was something blocking the door. Well, there's a line of Monokuma figures here leading up to the curtain that was set on fire next to a lighter on the ground. Almost like opening the door caused the Monokuma things to tip over as a domino effect to land the lighter, set fire to the curtain, and the reason why Nagito tried to throw this bear all the way over here was so that it would be set on fire and thus be destroyed in the in the blazes, and that would be destroying the evidence. Very clever game, very clever game. But unfortunately, Nagito, it didn't work out for you because you failed at getting it far enough away from you. Failure. All right, well, I guess we should probably actually examine the body now. So let's go. I did not mean to do that. I meant to check the body. So it looks like she's even thought while staring at the ceiling. What happened? Is there something strange about the ceiling? Oh, did she notice the thing? Oh, did she notice the thing? The thing that I did? Did Yeah, she noticed it! Yeah! It's such a small detail, but it's so awesome. It's so small. But it is such a cool detail. You're right, I definitely see it. It's like a small red line on the ceiling girder. Is that blood? Blood? The color definitely looks like blood, but there's no way blood could get up there, right? Not unless you fling a rope around it, which would then cause it to get, uh, to get bloodified. I said bloodified, bloodied, because it would fling itself around, going down and up. That's why I've been staring at it. I think it's strange. It's definitely strange. I should remember this. Blood on the girder's been added to the truthful section of your handbook. All right, well, let's actually check the body itself, since that's what we came here to check, and we pretty much investigated everything else. I never expected not each other to die like this. It was always spouting nonsense about hope and trying to confuse the hell out of us. But even so, don't like this is just too cruel. Also, he wasn't completely useless. There were times we were only able to reach through the eyes of him. 
Uh, I mean, he did the stupid Final Dead Room thing, but anybody could have done that. That wasn't that wasn't anything key. Unless you're going to tell me, oh, well, the Russian Roulette thing. Yeah, Gundam survived that. Now you just chose to do the stupid thing and like, oh, I'm super lucky. <laughs> Imagine basing and imagine basing everything in your case around just like luck. Literally, literally, the outcome of that was determined because oh, Nagito's lucky and therefore he survived the Russian roulette. Like it wasn't a, a huge thing because the rest of the case was so good, but like it, it, it could have been it could have been much worse than that if if, if if they if they leaned more heavily to the luck factor. We'll never be confused by him again. We'll never be saved by him again. Now isn't the time to think about unnecessary things. We need to focus on the investigation right now. Okay. I don't investigate everything about this body catch my eye. Well, I'm pretty sure we already checked everything. Um, we checked. I guess the only thing we haven't I haven't pointed out is the fact that he was bound, like his he was duct tape around the mouth or whatever. He must have been a great pain. He clearly had this agonizing look in his face when he died. I imagine anyone would be when they were when they're impaled with the through the stomach with a spear. His mouth is covered in the duct tape. Was this to keep Nagito from screaming help? I think it was to keep himself from screaming so that he wouldn't alert us to to his presence. I'd be my guess. What a horrible look on his face. The blood splatter all over doesn't help either. It's a good thing his mouth is covered with duct tape, otherwise we will be able to look at him. Ah, got a minute? Sorry, excuse me. Jack can move past Kazuichi and me and squat it down to next to Nagito's face. And in one swift movement, she ripped the duct tape off his mouth. What are you doing? Ah, uh, it'll be fine. I'll put it back right away once I'm done investigating here. Hey. Putting the tape back isn't the issue, you ungrateful swine. You ungrateful swine. The blood on Nagito's face, it looks like it mostly came from the slit in his left arm. If that's the case... Yeah. It's no use, she's not listening. Hey, about the blood splatter on his face. There's no blood under the duct tape. What's wrong with that? Well, his duct tape was shrinkles like it was sticking toward the inside of his mouth. Well, uh, if you want to know what's wrong with the Kazuchi, it means that he it means that it was placed on before he died, obviously, because if it was placed on after, there'd be blood underneath it. There'd be blood underneath it on his mouth. Uh, seriously, what's wrong with that? She means not his mouth covered with duct tape before he got all his wounds over his body. So we tried to shout, which caused the duct tape to get sucked into his mouth a little bit. But what's wrong with that? Is that something we really need to worry about? It's probably going to be helped to prove the fact that this was his doing later. I don't really get it, but just put the duct tape bath in his mouth and ready. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, this might be some kind of clue too, I should remember it. Oh, it might be, it'll definitely be some kind of clue. But other than that, I mean, we pretty much already, I didn't want to leave, pretty much already checked everything. There's the fact that his, that his, the, the rope was burnt off, the fact that he was stabbed through the hand, the fact that there's no blood on his left hand, and of course, the fact that he was impaled, the, 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 the killing blow was a giant spear impaling him through the stomach. There's no way, excuse me, around it, that looks like the fatal wound. Oh my! What's this? That's a strange looking spear, isn't it? A cord extends to the tip of the handle, and there's an iron weight attached and there's an iron weight attached to it. As if I needed any more proof. I see, I see. You use the cord as a whip to capture the enemy and deliver the final blow with the spear. Is this your first time looking at this too? Of course not. Uh this is the spear of gun gear, right? You definitely just came up with that now. By the way, I wanted to ask you, where did that spear come from? You're asking us? I feel like I saw it in Izumi Castle. Oh! You mean the place that Nagito broke into to scratch off the password? Hmm, how convenient. I was designed to be afraid of mice, so I can't go in there. Damn you mice, damn you all the hell. I see, even he doesn't, I mean, he doesn't know what's inside the castle. Well, more importantly, I need to focus on the investigation. The spear definitely catches my eye, but the weight on the end of the cord are coming out of the handle. Looks like that part has blood on it too. But for some reason, the section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. It's about the size of a human fist. It's about the size of a human fist. I don't know what to tell you, man. It's just... That, that's, at this point, nothing can surprise me. In this game, it's just all par for the course. I guess I'm done with the area surrounding Nagito's body. I can't believe I'm actually investigating such a grizzled-looking body. Even I'm surprised myself. Does this mean I'm used to it? I mean, my classmate's dead body is right in front of me, and one of my peers is the, is the killer responsible. I have to investigate his death so I can find his killer. Am I used to something as abnormal as that? that mean I'm becoming abnormal, too. Now then, I guess it's enough investigating the area behind the curtain. The killer's goal wasn't just killing Nagito. There should have been another reason as well. If not, they wouldn't have gone to the trouble of tying him with rope and covering his mouth with duct tape. Not just that, there's no reason to inflict any wounds other than a fatal one. So what was the reason? Looks like I better investigate other areas to figure that out. Alright, I should try investigating the other areas instead of where- What surprised me is I have- we haven't found any clues trying to pin this on Chiaki. That's what's most bizarre. Um, cause like, obviously Nagito wouldn't want it to be so obviously it's suicide, because then obviously we would vote him and then nothing would change. Um, his whole point was here. Let, let me expose the traitor. So you'd think there'd be a bunch of clues here trying to pin this on Chiaki. But... I haven't found anything yet, which is really confusing. Also, what is this? MP3 player? This is an MP3 player. There's even a speaker plugged into it. But why is this here? Maybe. Let's say that weird music was playing from there. Hmm. You know, that music that was blaring when the fire started? Well, yeah, you're right. It looks like it's busting getting drenched by the sprinklers. There's no mistaking it, that music was playing from the MP3 player. 
I don't, I don't disagree with that, but why was the girl playing music from this? I, uh... I got no idea on that one. That, that one, I have absolutely no idea. I am at a loss as to what that has to do with literally anything. You learned anything useful today, Chalky? Looks like this side is completely soaked because of the sprinkler. Even if there was an important clue here, we might not be able to notice it. But it's better than the warehouse burning to the ground. The good thing we were able to put out a fire. But there was a lot of smoke. It's a good thing we didn't go inside when we were throwing the grenades. I agree. If we did, we would have been caught by the sprinklers and become all wet and soggy. Miss Sonny's all wet. She's all drenched and soggy, Kazuchi, if you open your goddamn mouth, I swear to God. You were thinking that, huh? Oh my god, every time. Every goddamn time. It's always you. It's always you that opens your big fat mouth with something stupid. Why are you responding, Kazuichi? I was asking Hajime. You're screwing with me? But it's, I mean, it's so easy to do. Oh my, screwing? How lewd. Please don't look at me with such fearful eyes. I only imagine it for a second. I, what? Please learn the art of shutting the hell up. Like, immediately. Sonya, I am so sorry I have to deal with Kazuichi. I mean, we, I mean, we all have to deal with him, but you doubly have to deal with his harassment. Looks like Sonya's folks investigating the warehouse, which might reminds me. There's something I needed to ask her about. Now that we've pretty much finished investigating Nagato's body, I think it's time to talk to her. Hey, Sonya, do you have a minute? Yes? What is it? I want to talk to you about when the fake bomb Nagato said in the warehouse exploded. Huh? Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? Why did you know the bombs were fake? Um, well... That's not all either. We were, when we were looking for the bombs, why were you at the military base? I thought you were supposed to be searching the Central Island. Plus, when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. Where were you and what were you doing during that time? Oh, oh my! Do you, do you suspect me? It is a misunderstanding. I am not the killer. Jesus. Oh, my. Oh, yikes. Ooh, wow. Okay. Uh, that's a bit uncharacteristic of you. Sonya? I am terribly sorry. I was panicking. I shall calm down and explain to you why I was at the military base. When I first explored the final island, I discovered a vast amount of bombs there. Huh? At first, I was worried that someone might use them for nefarious reasons if I announced it to everyone, so I kept silent the whole time. Does that mean when you heard Nagito planted bombs, you got suspicious and went to investigate them? And as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. And because you were searching for them, you were late to when we all gathered? And because of that, I reached a conclusion. The bombs Nagito brought forth from the military base, which mean they were fake bombs. How did you find out the bombs in the military base were fake? Because I attempted to use one of them. You, 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 you what? I thought one of the bombs would be strong enough to blow open- Oh, okay, that's fair. I, I... Might wanna- might wanna leave with that one next time. And I thought that I could use one of them to gain entrance to the ancient ruin. However, that plan was an utter failure. The bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. God damn it all to hell! I see. So that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. As did Mommy as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. Which means... That is why I knew it was a fake. However, I did think it was strange enough to blow up the hotel lobby. Y it's you, me, and the rest of the world did. I, I found that extra strange that Kazuichi didn't die despite being two inches away from the bomb going off. That bomb was real and I could not stop thinking about it, but upon further reflection, that might have been Nagito's plan all along. He showed us a real bomb to make us believe that the bombs he said were real as well. So the Nagito's actions were extremely calculated, but the problem is he's the reason for doing it. With this, I have explained everything. There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. You're right, I got it. I mean, I didn't doubt you in the first place, but I'm sure that'll be useful later. Alright, I pretty much finished looking for clues inside the warehouse. I was able to find some clues, but there are still so many things I don't understand yet. You, you look worried. Yeah, I am. At a time like this, it might be good if, if you broaden your investigation range. You mean it's good to investigate other places as well? She might be right. There are several things I've been wondering about besides the crime scene. The military base that Sonya mentioned, the plushy factory next door. Izumi Castle, where the spear originally came from. And Nagato's room, too. If I'm going to understand the reasoning for his actions, I need to know more about him. I'm pretty sure the others have already finished investigating. Hey, you guys, isn't it about time we leave this place and try exploring other areas, too? In response to Shiaki, the others gathered around her. By the way, I like this group, this surviving group, a lot better than the first game. Because the first game, we had... Makoto, whom you play as, so how I feel about it doesn't really matter because I'm stuck, I'm stuck playing as him anyway. As him anyway. Uh, Kyoko and uh, Hina. Hina, awesome. Kyoko, awesome. Two best characters in the game. Uh, Toko, admittedly, kind of grew me a little bit by the end of the game, but she was still a psychopath who was insane half the time. Uh, Bikuya was an asshole, which was terrible. And Yazuhiro was just a nothing character, so it was just like most of the group was either. Eh, or, oh, I hate you so much. But this group, I really like, like, this, I, I'm content with this surviving group. Um, because Chiaki is the most intelligent and most compassionate character in the game. Sonya is, is awesome to be around. Akane is entertaining as all hell. 
Fuyuhiku, admittedly, I hate to admit it, he's kind of growing on me a little bit. It took a while. He's kind of growing on me. I, I never thought I'd say it, but he is kind of growing on me. And then Kazuichi just sucks, but one out of the characters, that's one out of the six surviving characters, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll take one of the six being crap as opposed to the rest, as opposed to everyone being crap. Um, I agree, I was just thinking about proceeding to another area. It seems we had the same idea. But is it safe? There won't be anyone to guard the crime scene. We don't have a choice, there are just not enough of us. Besides, we must get all we can here. I guess you're right. Also, what's the clues you found aren't enough to piece this into together? So we need to search for them in, uh, I mean, like, you say that, but I'm pretty sure I pieced this whole incident together. I, 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 I solved how we started the fire, I solved how Nagito killed himself, and I linked the two together with the, with the plush bear as to why he would have wanted us to start the fire. Because obviously, obviously, lining up all the panels was an, an intentional decision for us, for him, from him, to try to get us to cause to start the fire. So, you know, uh, although... That does beg an interesting question I hadn't thought of, is that why, if he had the lighter he used to burn off the rope, why didn't he just use that to burn the bear as well? Why did he need the panels? That's... hmm... That, that much I'm, I'm stuck on. I, I don't have an explanation for that one yet. Well, alternatively, if there aren't any clues in other areas, we have to give up completely. You really don't need to say that. Let's hey, hey. escape we leave this place? And I don't count that stupid clock as a surviving member. There's no time for us to stand around. In order to survive, there's no other way to, uh, no other way to except to do it. In order to survive, we need to find Nagito's killer. If we don't sacrifice that person, nobody can survive. That's a reality. So there's no time for us to stand around. Okay, well then let's get to it. We need to what do you, uh, we need to check the castle for the for the spear, and then we need to go check his room. Okay, well that shouldn't take us too long. Welcome to Disney World, everybody. Let's head inside and see see what's waiting for us. Okay, so we're checking to see if the spear came from here, right? Well, it should be pretty obvious. To, we'll, we'll probably just find... Yep. There's a bunch of spears in the wall, and one of them is missing from the rack. The spear with the flashing ornament on is hanging from the wall. This spear is definitely it, right? Yes, yes it is. Just as I thought, it looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. The same whip-like cord attached to the handle is a weight at the end of it. It looks like one of the spears in the wall is missing. There's no mistaking it, the killer took one of the spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of Gun Gear, huh? Monokuma would totally come up with a lame name like that. But why did the killer use a spear and a knife? Yeah, and they could have just killed him with a knife and that would have been easier too. There's no way a spear like this with, with this unnecessary cord thing on would be easy to use. It definitely looks hard to wield. But still, they chose the spear for a reason. What could that reason be? Um, probably because of the iron weight at the end of it so that they could actually make for a good pulley system. That'd be my guess. Okay, well if that's it, then I guess we can just head back to, uh, head back to Nagita's room. Oh, Nagito, or rather Nagito's room, come knockity knockity. Oh, look at, look at who's, look at who's showing up just in time for me to investigate. It's Chiaki. I mean, honestly, I'm fine with that. I'd rather, of, of, any, of everybody here, the person I'd most prefer to have as my investigative partner is her. So, and not just because she's the ultimate gamer. Oh my, you want to go into Nagito's room too? Ah, uh, Hajime, I was just listening to Chiaki's request. She wants me to unlock the door of Nagito's cottage because she really needs it for the little class trial. She begged me to do a while to... Uh, that did not happen. I didn't do that. <laughs> She's so, like... Mat... like, blunt and matter-of-fact. Without going... without, like... She, like, she doesn't... She, she's just so straightforward and... and smooth by saying, like, I didn't do that. So she, <laughs> it's just... I, I don't know... I don't know how to describe it. It's just... she's just the best character. If we don't have the time to mess around, hurry up and lock the damn door. Fine, fine, I guess I have no choice. I just gotta do that, right? Now then. See? I've opened the door. You can freely investigate now. This isn't my first time seeing that, but why does the door open with a spell like that? Maybe the college key is computerized. More importantly, let's go inside now that the door is open. Well, I mean, what, that's not... I mean, that, did, wouldn't you know if it's computerized or not? Because you have to open... You have to lock the door every night and get inside with your... No? Okay. Whatever. Alright, so this is Nagito's cottage. So Nagito was living here. What was he thinking inside this room? What was he, what was he feeling as he spent his days in here? I can't even imagine. Wanting to see absolute hope, becoming despair so he could act as a... Excuse me, stepping some of the rest of us. No matter how much I think about all just don't stand at all. Also, uh, hey, Monomi, I, uh, I think I found your treasure. Uh, it's, it's right here. A fancy-looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing out. Could this be? Yeah, thanks, I remember. I... We, we found your treasure. That treasure box. Chiaki, you know about this? Yep. It's really cute. Oh, she's just reacting. It looks like Mon It looks like Monomi's stolen treasure box. If this is here, that means the thief Monomi was talking about was Nagito. Why would Nagito steal this? 
In order to find out, it might be good to see what's inside. Is it gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. It, it's a it's a pink it's a pink cute little treasure box. I think we'll be fine. It could be some kind of clue. Blah, blah, blah. Could be because blah, 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 blah. could be some kind of clue. You know, if, if this wasn't important, Nagito wouldn't have stolen it from Monomi in the first place. I turned the back toward the treasure box and cautiously opened the lid. Inside there was a notebook. A handy dandy notebook. This is it. Why is a notebook inside this treasure box like it's something important? Hey, never underestimate the importance of a notebook. I, I took the notebook out of the treasure box and began leaping through it. It contained sloppy drawings that they were drawn by children and entries that looked like chicken scratch. Day one, I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two, Bakuya is the leader and a lot of things happen. Day two, everyone's tired. What is this, a diary? It looks like it did. It looks like it. Did Monomi write these? Probably. These pictures and entries totally suit her. I kept flipping through the pages. Day three, day four, day five. Page after page of poorly written entries continued on in the notebook. I don't really understand it, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. And right when I was about to give up, my hand suddenly stopped on an entry titled Day 16. Day 16, we've been in the funhouse for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go in the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. Huh? Hey, hey. Hajime, did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Hey, stop! Don't look at my notebook! Whoa! From out of nowhere, Monomi suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my hand. Phew, I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never said you were allowed to peek inside. Jeez, that was close. If I can't, if I had come in later, you would have seen the inside of the notebook. Unfortunately, you were a little too late. But if this notebook is here, then Nanito was the thief? Betrayal! I have a trip by my beloved student! Hey, the notebook is pretty much a diary, right? Diary? Uh, it, it seems that way. That's right. This is my important- Why do you not sound so confident about that? Hey, hey, you're a liar! Blah, 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 blah. You always show up out of nowhere! I mean, you do that too. Manomi, it's not good to lie, you know. Yes, but I said, she did seem a little too non-committal to the fact that she's like, Chiaki was like, this is your notebook, isn't it? And she's like, blah, 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 blah. yes, it is my notebook. It's like, what are you talking about? Lie? There's no way you wrote in that notebook. After all, Manomi can't even write. I, okay then. Probably not a great attribute for a teacher to not have. Or probably, yeah, it's whatever. Uh, what are you saying? Jeez, I can write letters easily. I can finally write the letter B. Oh, well, in that case. No, you can't. Because you have no fingers on your hands. Ah! See? Bullseye. I know, because I'm the same way, too. Huh? Are you mad? Are you angry that I exposed a weakling like you? So that's what this is about. You're seriously trying to crush me. What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. Uh, okay then. Looks like there's time to, the time to sell things between us is getting closer every second. Hey, I don't know why you're getting so serious, but is this is what Monokuma said true? Huh? You said you didn't write it in that notebook. Is that true? If so, who wrote in it? Uh, yeah, but it's, well, I mean, how should I put it? Uh, excuse me. Hold on. Damn it, she totally ran away again. The same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time trying to get answers from her. But still, I really wanted to ask her about that notebook. Well, actually, it might be better that I didn't ask her. Hey, why would it been, have been better that you didn't? Okay. Um, okay, well, what else do we need to check here? Um, any, is there anything secretive hidden under your bed, perhaps? It's the bed that comes with the cottages. Looks like just the one in my room, but... Hey, hey. Maybe there's something hidden under his bed. It's useless for hiding things. Yeah, like... Okay, then. That is, um... That sure is a sentence that's in this game. But we should still check just in case. In case you find what you're looking for. But no expectations and without thinking, I peeked under the bed and a giant monster was there to creep me. Hmm, there's something here. It's a plastic bag from the supermarket. It looks like there's something inside. What the? It looks like a gas mask and rubber gloves. This looks like the real deal. Did they get it to the military base? Why would he need a gas mask? He was hiding these under his bed. What did Nagito use this stuff for? That's an odd thing to have. Hajime, was there anything else under the bed? Let's see. I peeked into the bed once again and started looking around the area when I found the supermarket bag and there's a small piece of paper on the floor. A piece of paper made of blue aluminum? A round piece of aluminum, huh? It's one of the seals that go over drives one. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, these... This looks exactly like something you find, like, on an unopened mustard, mustard bottle or ketchup bottle or really anything like that. Just any, any kind of sealed bottle you'd find this on. That's exactly what this looks like, but I can't... I don't know why you would have this. I get what you're saying, but does that mean this is just a piece of trash? Who knows? Might be too soon to decide that. That's a very weird thing to have. Okay, um... I guess there's also there's the, there's the 
there's a bookshelf and a fridge. Uh, I said the fridge first. What, what, what sort of goodies do you keep in the fridge? Huh? Nice. My couch doesn't even have a refrigerator. Yes, but it does have all of the gaming consoles in the world, so I think you're. I think you'll be fine. Not even to probably supply it himself. Mm. Why do you have the trouble putting a refrigerator in his room? Why? Why? Why did? Did? did why would? Why would anybody have? A, why do people bring mini fridges to college? Why do people have refrigerators? Like. What, for, I mean, I'd focus on why why do why did any of you have the foresight to bring anything to this island in the first place when you didn't even know you were going to be here until the last whatever. Monokuma special poison. Oh, 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 that's mm, that's not good at all. Oh, okay. That's, that's not good. Oh. I mean, it's, it's clever. It's really freaking clever, but that's really, really bad. Oh. Monokuma's special poison. Kept sword safely in Nagito's fridge for some reason. And underneath his bed, we found a gas mask, rubber gloves, and a blue piece of aluminum paper that was or that would you'd ordinarily find covering up unopened bottles or containers of things. Do you see where this is going? Because I do. What did? What was the most? What is the most prevalent container in this case? A container that would be. Forced to brought to the forced to be brought to the crime scene by something that Nagito did before he died, such as starting a fire, which would lead to us bringing fire grenades for use, which would lead to somebody in this room throwing a fire grenade towards his dead body, which may or may not have contained the, this special poison, which he would have had to replace by peeling off the blue aluminum and using the gas mask to save himself from the toxic poison, which probably would have vaporized because it would have been a million degrees in that room, so the second it hit the ground, it would have instantly vaporized, turned into a toxic gas, which he could have inhaled through his nose because the duct tape only covered his mouth, not his nose. That's so goddamn smart. But it's also really bad because that, 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 that might mean that this actually is going to be a murder. In which case, it, it's gonna end up being Chiaki because she's the one that he was after. But okay, so that's really freaking smart. It's that is an ingenious freaking twist. However, he had no way of guaranteeing who w was gonna be the one to pick. For, first off, he had no way of guaranteeing that anyone would pick because there, there, there were more than just six balls in there. There was no, he had no way to guarantee that one of us that would pick up the one with poison in it, let alone guarantee that Chiaki was the one who should pick it up. So I don't know how he would have guaranteed that. Um, but I'm sure we'll find that out later. Because uh, that's... Oh, that, that's really bad. Because I mean, she's going to be put under trial and she's going to be the one that we exposed. Oh. Oh, God. Damn it, game! I thought we were—I thought we were home free. I thought we had a home free. Well, I mean, I, I mean, so technically, I mean, it depends, right? Because the 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 the, the Monokuma file says that the cause of death was from all the the, the stab wounds, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter, right? Because she's the whether or not she threw the poison, the the spear is still what killed him, so it doesn't matter, right? It's still a suicide, so we we should still be fine. I mean, they're gonna try to make it look like it was it's Jockey, but I think I think we're fine because we still. We still, it, 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 it still looks like it, I mean, I don't think that, the, her, it, like, this explains how he would have been trying to get, to cause Chucky to kill him, which is ingenious, but it doesn't actually explain anything, like, it doesn't, it doesn't explain how he could have guaranteed that, so I'm just, I'm, I am, okay, now I'm excited for the class trial, now I'm really excited for the class trial, this is, this is the most intelligently designed mystery in the entire game so far, this is freaking Amazing. For someone who likes cold drinks, it doesn't look like he stock very much. But that bottle did it really isn't a drink, right? It really looks like some kind of dietary supply. Dietary so the it says poison right there! It says poison right there! On the on the bottle it says Monokuma special poison. 
What do you mean it looks like some kind of dietary supplement to you, you idiot? Protein powder? Th th this isn't the first game. This is- it's- it says special poison right there. Right there. On the bottle itself. I took the brown bottle out of the fridge and started reading the label. Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death. You had to pick it up and read the label in order to do that? Looks like it's poison. Poison? You had to take it out to- okay. But be careful with that bottle, don't drop it. Stop it, if you roll like that, I'm gonna get nervous. I, ha, hey, here's a thought. How about you just keep it in the fridge and turn it around inside the fridge so there's no risk of dropping it? Oh, is that too much of a smart idea for you? I grabbed the bottle with my trembling hand and began reading the warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison made specifically for killing someone. It's one of special poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its, though its fertility is low, the liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. And a gas state is heavier than air and breaks down- it, he, Heavier than air, breaks down in minutes, and is susceptible to hydrolysis. So, that means that 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 is oh my god, this is so smart. Okay, gaseous state. So, throws it, throw it, throw it onto the fire. Instantly vaporizes because heat vaporizes it, when it's in when it's in a gaseous state. It's heavier than air, so it sinks to the ground where Nagito was. And because it's susceptible to hydrolysis, the sprinklers would have protected us from the gas, in addition to the fact that we were standing upright instead of lying down. Genius. Freaking ingenious. Keep this liquid secure by storing in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. Hmm. This sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. What, what gave it away? Was it What is the words it said specifically for poisoning? Uh, but where did Nagito get something like this? That question could apply to the bomb he used at the hotel, too. Apply to the bomb? There should be a reason Nagito was able to attain such dangerous items. The octagon inside the fun house. The poison, he must have brought it with him from there, too, right? He was probably hiding them somewhere in his body during the last class trial. He was hiding a bomb and a poison during the class trial? Jeez, how dangerous. What would, have, what would he have done if he accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Just thinking about it scares me. Also, we already blew up the bomb we took with him at the lobby. But what about this poison? Huh? See? Looks like the bottle is less than half empty. Was it like this, was it like this in the beginning? Or did Nagito use it? Oh, we used it all right. So where did he use it? He used it with the fire grenades. Is there still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung? Oh, it was sprung, all right. It was sprung the moment we walked through those doors. Another trap? For example, maybe he was making some kind of trap using this poison before he died. If it actually exists, it'd be real bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. Everyone on the island? What the hell? Nagato, are you still trying to make us suffer? Are you still trying to make us suffer even after you've died? I mean, technically, yes. Because if we... Because either... So, if, if we... If we figure... If, if we... If we figure out that it's... Well, I mean, I, things... I don't even, I don't even know. I, I don't... I genuinely don't know if it's a suicide or a murder. I mean, it can't be, right? Because the cause of death in the Monaco file doesn't label it as a poisoning, so it can't be Chiaki. So... Ah... Oh, this is a really smart setup game. I... Honestly, this almost seems too smart for you. Like, I'm waiting for you to screw it up, because this almost seems too smart for this game. There are a lot of books and other mysterious items stuffed on the shelf. The, the genres and types of items are also random. I can't make any sense of it whatsoever. They say a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart. Do they now? I definitely don't know much about Nagito just by looking at this. So what should we do? It'd be really difficult to look through all these piles. That's maybe we should, that's maybe we should ignore it, though. I'll leave it to you, then, Hajime. What, what, why me? It's better if a boy goes through another boy's things. Ah, uh, yes. It's because reading through his book collection will reveal so many private things about his life. I totally... Uh-huh. Uh, it might be true, but... So I'll leave this stuff to you. I think I just got persuaded to do this without realizing it. I don't... It, it, it's not... It, it's books. It, like... It, wow, wait... Okay. I saw it and walked toward the shelf. One by one, I started removing the various books and items and examining each one. But even as I examined them carefully, there were still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there were any clues here. Huh? Nagi just said this only contained information about me, but... Is that really true? If look at this, it should be obvious, right? And he said that I was from the reserve department and had no talent whatsoever. That might be another one of his lies, too. I opened the file I held in my hand to confirm that, and instantly I realized that this is something was strange. If this really only has only my information, then why is this file so thick? As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me. Just as I thought Nagato had lied to me. Oh, what a big surprise. Aside from information, there was information about the others. Kazuichi, Fukihiko, Akane, and Sonya. And everyone who died has pages of information about them, too. The file contained information on all 16 of us. Only my information my ass. I can't believe he'd make up such a strange lie. Really? You can't believe that? Coming from Nagito? So that must mean all the rest of it might be a lie too. I turned to the page containing my information and began reading through the content. The profile contained basic information such as my date of birth, height, weight, and so forth. But there was only one thing that specifically caught my eye. The words reserve course student. There's no denying it. It confirmed that I truly was a reserve course student from the reserve department. 
Which is just, that department makes no goddamn sense. Why is this the only thing that doesn't lie? Why am I the only one here who's in front of the reserve department? Why, why am I here at all, with all the other ultimates? Hajime, did something happen? Ah, well, I just found a strange file. Ah, isn't that the special prize Nagato received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your skin profile should be in there. It's not just my profile, the profiles of everyone on this island are in here, too. Nagato was lying. Huh? What a surprise. When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? Yeah, it's a, <laughs> that's simply what he means by when he says the word everyone. Can I take a look at that file? Jack leaned against me and peered into the file. You're right. My profile is really in here, but unfortunately... There doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. Man, it's impossible to obtain new clues from that. Yeah, seems like it. Ah, uh, hold on. Huh? What happened? I just noticed it right now, but... His name isn't in there, right? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name is the only one missing. Hmm? Who are you talking about? Byakuya. I'm talking about Byakuya Togami. Look carefully. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. <laughs> no way! So what if her name isn't written in that file? Perhaps based on that, you think you might be the traitor? No, it's not just because his name isn't written here. That's not the only reason I think he's suspicious. He participated in the killing school life at Hope's Academy, right? For someone like him to be in a simple situation on the island, no matter what, it's definitely suspicious. Yeah, well, I'd like to remind you that Nagi tells something like, Oh, he, there's the ultimate imposter, and Bakuya might still be alive, or, da -da -da -da, because, of course, of course he would be. Well, it pains me to say this, but what you're saying about the missing name and about the killing school life, it's totally wrong! There's a completely different reason. A different reason? Oh, where should I put this? You guys have been getting all worked up about that peculiar for no reason. Which means the great mystery that you think surrounds that peculiar doesn't exist. You're basing it on one person's cheap speculation. What do you mean? You don't have to ask me that. You know the answer just by looking through those profiles, right? Huh? My eyes turn back to that file. One by one, I started flipping through the pages and confirming their names. And suddenly I came across a page that was filled with question marks. Every section was filled with question marks. It could barely be considered us. Yes, the ultimate imposter. Da, 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 da. Here we go. That's what Nagita was saying about how oh I saw peculiar whatever bullshit he was ta talking about. That's peculiar's true identity. True identity. He was a fake. That's pretending to be the ultimate alpha and progeny. Peculiar Sagami. A fake. The fact this profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight. Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding him. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, and even his age and gender is unknown. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able to exist as anybody. Ha 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 ha, kind of like the Phantom of the Lost News. Ha 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 ha. That person wasn't really peculiar, Togami. Is that, really, is that why he was so much fatter compared to when he was involved in those killing school life? So cool. <laughs> his physique doesn't affect his ability to fool us at all. Real imposters are skilled like that. Yeah, like Don Paolo from Professor Layton, who can somehow shrink himself down to the size of a child when he's impersonating someone. Because those games are so well written. Then he was lying to us the whole time? But he couldn't help it. Wh why couldn't he help it? Because that was his talent. Huh? Well, having talent means you're also bound to that talent. The moment you obtain talent, your way of life has already been chosen for you. You can't do anything ex except rely on the talent. Regardless of whether you want that life or not. In that case, in that sense, compared to the other Ultimates, your life might be a little bit more liberating. What the hell? Anyway. Ahem, anyway. I'm not happy you guys fell for a scam that I had nothing to do with. So I'll tell you straight up. This revelation about Bakuya is exactly the truth. Then, what was he trying to say to me at that time? Hmm, based on the context of I had to guess. No, no. Maybe he was just complaining that he was cursed to want to get something more than a fraud. He's not Mike Ross from Suits. But if you guys had your school memories, you never would have been betrayed in the first place. I mean, but it'd be different if you were meeting him for the first time. But since you guys went to Hope's Week Academy, you should have known about the ultimate imposter already. So in the end, it all leads back to memory loss. Jeez, the Future Foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Monomi as a traitor. Who is it? Who's the traitor? Just looking at these 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know who's from the Future Foundation. Is there really someone like that? Well, obviously you wouldn't know. I made that file so you guys couldn't find out. So just as I thought, you're the one who did it. The fact that there were 16 profiles in there is what's wrong. I mean, the traitor is a spy sent by the Future Foundation, not a student from Hope's Week Academy. You made a fake profile for the traitor and included it in here? It wouldn't be fun if you figured out who the traitor was so easily, right? 
Then we can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was true for Nagito too, right? Well, probably. <laughs> it's dripping with despair, isn't it? You wasted your precious time on something that isn't a clue. Was that a wise decision? Time's up, you know. Time's up. Wait a minute. Excuse me for a moment. What is most important for living things? Well, personally, I think time is. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, but time will inevitably run out, right? That's why we gotta cherish time. There is nothing more wasteful than wasting time. So, time's up. We will begin the last class trial. So please gather at Monokuma Rock. <laughs> I'll see you soon. The last class trial? He said that, right? He said last class trial? Yep. I heard it too. He really did say it was last class trial. Yeah, well, he's lying because it's still chapter 6. What do you think? Should we believe him? No, you should not. Monokuma seemed anxious about the Monokuma timer earlier, right? Two more days? And he said something about the killing school trip ending, right? Based on the, la based on the time limit, that might definitely be the last but one. Still. But I can't help imagine it's the real end. Huh? I think Monokuma's real might just might be just beyond that. Yeah, in this thing called chapter 6. Just beyond chapter 5. Crazy. His real plan? Is Monokuma still planning to make us do something? What could it be? Maybe after putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once? Yeah, it's not really Monokuma's yeah. style. But still, it's also not a good idea to think about it too much, I think. I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us first. You're right. A class trial for Nagito's murder. We're pretty screwed. I haven't collected my thoughts because we were so focused on this fight. I've collected my thoughts pretty well. I still can't see you kill Nagito. I think I can. Well, you don't have to worry so much. Huh? Right? I mean, we're not fighting this alone, you know? You're right. You're absolutely right. We're not alone. Even if it's a mystery that can't be solved alone as long as everyone cooperates and works together. Yeah, as long as we're together, we can stand and face whatever kind of trouble this world tries to put us in. Yeah, if we do that, things will turn out fine. Alright, well, let's head to Monokuma Rock. Why do I always go the why do I always pick the longest way possible to do this? Head to Monokuma Rock for the penultimate class trial of the game. With the smallest group of people yet. Damn right. Looks like everyone's here. Huh? huh? Is this it? Shouldn't there be more people? Stop it, you're making me depressed. Um. So is it going to happen again? The cruel conflict where we missed out our friends. <laughs> but once we're through with this, we can go back, right? The Monokuma bastard said so, and he said this is the last class trial. We've been tricked, but we've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I can believe it so easily. Why can't you believe it? The guys who make us do all this is one saying it, you know? So I'll definitely survive. If we can really go home out to deal with this class trial, I'll definitely find out who the killer is no matter what. Even if I have to pull it. Yep, yeah, mm hmm. Uh oh, my always mad. What? Why are you here? You haven't realized it yet. I feel like I'm just wanting to leave this island. Thinking like this Monokuma was trapped, you know? What are you saying? There's no way Monokuma will end things here. He's playing something far worse. But that's a stop trying to jinx us. Damn right, stupid rabbits just shut up. Everyone, you must run away from despair. Huh? I finally realized that I'm losing my powers. I've realized that cursing your powerlessness or your fate of confidence is nothing. The possibility may be small, but as long as there's a possibility, you must face it. In order to become someone who can be proud of yourself, so I will fight. What's her deal? Um, Excuse me. I, I do not really know, but she seems different from before. <laughs> Maybe she read a self-help book. But her eyes look so determined. Why, what can you tell? What can you tell just by looking at those button eyes? Anyway, make sure you turn off Mini Maro. It'd be annoying if you start talking in the trial. Ah, oh, fine. Still. Somehow I understand what Monomi is saying, I think. Hmm, I wonder why Chiaki of all people would understand that. Anyway, let's get going to the last yep. class trial. You're right, we need to fight as much as we can. Do you think anybody who played this actually thought this was going to be the last class trial? I wonder. I, I also wonder if anybody who's played this game hasn't played the first game. Because I get the sense that it's kind of going for a similar Virtue's Last Reward thing, where, like, it has a new cast of characters. Uh, with ties to the first game to kind of merge both new players and old players. It doesn't lean too heavy into the first game, but also doesn't lean too heavy away from the first game so that it doesn't alienate returnees or new players, unlike a certain game with the initial ZTD. This is the end. I kept saying those words to myself over and over within my mind. I ain't to Monokuma Rock. It's elevator ride. This is the last time for this too, right? I hope so. Well, I'll talk about things after we're finished. You are right. Well, importantly, we must focus on the class trial before us. Damn it. 
The killer managed to kill someone like Nagito. There's no way this is going to go smoothly. I mean, I still can't believe one of us was able to do that. Nagito was problematic in many ways, but he was also a valuable asset during the trials. Yeah, you're right. In fact, during the final ordeal, we were completely dependent on him. But even if he's gone, as the ones who survived needed to stand and fight. We must fight. And then, the door slowly opened. This bright light greeting us, is that the light of hope, or the light of despair? Now the chatterbox Nagito is gone, there's only six of you left! Hey. This is it, right? This is really the last class trial? Yep, sure is! Wrong. So you gotta show some enthusiasm and make sure you give it your all! Did I tell you? This is it, it's the end. Oh, well, if Monokuma said, then there's no way he could ever possibly be lying to us. Now then. Let's get this trial started! This is the fifth class trial. According to Monokuma, this is also the last class trial. Well, he's wrong. That curtain is about to rise. Nagito Kamita, the ultimate lucky student. When I first met him, I thought he was a nice guy. He came across as very sociable. But it's true nature, he held a demented thought process that was nothing like his outward appearance. Yeah, because he was insane and constantly contradictive. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said it was yearning for a powerful hope that can overcome any despair. He said he would even help despair just to prove that hope will never lose to despair. And he said that he'd become a stepping stone for hope. His way of thinking was completely screwed up. But there were also times he saved us too. Someone like him was killed. That was the end of him. And I have no idea at all who did it, but... There's no way we can end this without knowing. We will be consumed by despair. That's why we absolutely have to find out. That person who finished off Nagito, the killer who murdered Nagito. In order to return from this despair alive, we need to reach the truth. And if Monokuma says this is really the last class trial, that's all the more reason we need to do this. And so, this life-threatening trial billing with hope and despair, the last one, has begun. Okay, I am excited for this one. This, this might, this, this could be the best trial in the entire game so far. The setup, the, the logical d deductions, the clues, the evidence, the reasoning, the potential motives, the deceptions between, behind it all. Oh, the pretend, the possibilities are so good. I can't, I can't wait to keep playing. Okay, that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. See you for the next time. We'll catch you all tomorrow for some more. Dang around with two. Goodbye to spare. Goodbye.